Good. Good morning, primary caregiver. And I call you that because you are your child first teacher. Julie, Miss uh, Tamika, and myself are simply cultivators, prime, uh, cultivator caregivers. And what that simply means is we're here to just support and we're here to support and nurture or help grow what you have already taught and installed in your infant toddler. So with that being said, let me just say good morning to you. And let me start with you first. I just want to, uh, my question of you, for you today, uh, primary caregiver is how was your weekend? Hopefully you took some time to self-care for yourself, your family, to replenish, to support and care for others. That's so important. And you as a primary caregiver need that. So let's start off this video for you. It's something that I love to do before I get started with my day. I call it smelling the roses and blowing out the candle. And what you want to do is imagine the field of smelling some beautiful roses and take a deep breath. And then you want to imagine a birthday cake full of candles and blowing, taking that deep, strong breath that you breathe in and blowing out those candles. Now, with doing that, I want you to release all things that are um, interfering with your peace, that may be toxic, or may be a burden, or heavy on you, blowing it out in that breath. Also, I do want you to know that we're here for you. Please call us if you need to talk or you got questions or anything. We are here for you. And we at OSA Head Start really do care about your well being. Okay. Now, with that out the way, I'd like to look at my TV land scope. And say hi to my little wee one, my infant toddlers. So I like to say, I like to say good morning, Fadel, Fadelis. I like to say good morning, Lester. I like to say good morning, Sarai. I like to say good morning, Deja, Deja Hea. I like to say good morning, Destiny. I like to say good morning. Kealana, I like to say good morning, Annabelle. And I like to say good morning, Caroline. I like to say I'm looking there at you through that YouTube or Zoom land. And good morning. How are you? And I hope you smiled when you heard my voice. I hope you were able to see my face and smile too. That's a good feeling. That releases good feelings all through your body. So moms always say good morning and smile at your little one. And they will smile back at you. And those feelings that we get when we're happy and smiling will be released in your child. That's so important as well. So now let's get started with our message for today. Uh, next message is uh, Miss Julie sends her love and says hello and her and babies are her and baby babies are doing fine. I told her you guys are doing fine and I told her I got to meet uh, some of your parents last week. Thank you. Thank you for allowing us to come to your home and 
I want to um, hope that those materials will help you and your little one in doing teachable lessons for them. Um, okay, with that, let's see. Now, she also says she looks forward and she's resting and doing well. And she looks forward to seeing you when we come back to the building. That's right. We'll be back in the building in September. And I hope to see you, parents, your smiling faces and your little ones, they cool and smiling faces in the hall of Osa Head Start. Also, um, another um, announcement is it's enrollment time. If you have not enrolled uh, your little person, if you know anyone between with little ones between the ages of zero and five, please get in contact with myself, Ms. Tamika, and we'll give you the information and contact person that you can enroll your little one into our fantastic heads, early, head, early and Head Start program. Uh, we love to have you. Also, we're going to have an open enrollment. You can come there to the OSA site. We're going to be at the playground. That's like right across the street, if you say, from us. There's going to be food. There's going to be games. There's going to be prizes. Um, there's going to be OSA staff as well as your FA there to meet and accept to assist you um, for enrolling, we're just asking that you bring your uh, ID or license, uh, the babies or the children that you're interested in enrolling, uh, gifts, a uh, birth certificate, and your proof of income also, and your proof of residency. That could be a bill with your name on it. Or of course your ID, your ID or license. Um, I'll be there, so I hope to see you. Let me say it again. That's July seventh, between the hours of ten a.m. and two p.m. So also look for uh, closer date reminders on Remind One Hundred and One. Um, we'll be sending that out to you as well. So listen, for today's assignment is we're going to show a video of the nursery rhyme, Patty Cake. Some of you guys might have remembered this when you were younger, it being sung to you. Now in this nursery rhyme, we're going to let the children see it. They're going to hear it. They're going to see it with their eyes. They're going to listen to it with their ears. And our goal is to get them to either make some sounds. That's what we call babbling, uh, babbling, or some of you might call it gibberish. That's them talking. And what that is, that's the beginning of them forming words. So that is one of our uh, goals with this video today is to get them to making sounds, get them talking, get them ready to uh, start speaking words and naming items. Also with that, we're going to look for them mirroring your image. And I'm going to show you an activity to do with Patty Cake. And uh, I've got my care bear here, my love bear, to show you the activity that you can do with your infant toddler uh, and give you a couple of ways to do it. And do this with your uh, toddler. So, with that said, let me get ready to get my video together for you. You ready? I'm ready. I am so ready for this. This is one of my favorites. Okay. Let's see here. Let's see here. Oh, I thought I had it. Uh. I had it for you guys. Excuse the 
technical difficulty here. Let's go. I found it. Let me put this where they can see it first on the camera. Let's open it. Let's get started. That face that is used okay. to by her phone has finally made it. All right, you guys ready? Here we go. And here's today's read along. I'm going to put it there so you actually can see. Okay, now the star you could pat where you can have the baby sitting in front of you. Okay, and I'm going to get my Care Bear baby and do the patting. Usually a car seat, the couch, those areas will do just perfect for you to do this with the baby. Let me turn the camera so that you will get a good look at me doing that. Let's make sure that we have this where you can see Miss Ellen's got to get up out of her chair. Excuse the little side effects there. <laughs> and here's my baby. So, car seat, sitting, or in the couch, and it goes, let me get it situated for you, it will go like this. Hopefully you can see me, let me make that a little better. All right. Yowza, yowza, yowza. Let me put a little leverage. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, here we go. Here's the pat. You look into the baby's eyes. You want a happy face because you want those good vibes going to that baby. And you go, patty cake, patty cake. Baker's man, make me a cake as fast as you can. Roll it. Pat it. Mark it with B. You can use their initials as well. B, B, and make the sound of the letter in their name. B, B, B. I'm going to use B as an example. For baby and me, put it in the oven for baby and me. Now, then I'm going to take the baby either laying down or in the car seat or on the couch. And I'm going to assist the baby with doing patty cake. And once again, looking in the baby's eyes, smiling, greeting the baby. Hi, little one. How are you? Hi there, my love bear. How are you? And that gets them smiling. And then you want to go patty cake, patty cake. Baker's man, make me a cake as fast as you can. Roll up, pat up, mark it with B, 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 B. 
put it in the oven for baby and uh oh baby and me and as you've seen i pointed to the baby and i pointed to me and what that is is going to be self-recognition that baby and me okay now i hope this was helpful i hope you all enjoyed it um Please, if you got any questions or concerns, please reach out to me. Reach out to us. You can reach out to Miss um, Tamika, myself, Miss Evelyn, and we will answer any questions that you need. So, listen, I'm going to end the video, but remember your self care. Take care of you, take care of your family so that you refuel to give some of that care to others. Bye now. Okay, let's end it.